Since the dawn of the space age, people around the world have wondered what it's like to be up there, how zero gravity feels perhaps, or what the Earth looks like from above. But a new study says astronauts are seeing some serious problems in space travel. The CBC's Ian Hannah Mansing explains. He has spent more time in space than any Canadian, and it was during a 188-day mission on the International Space Station that Bob Thirsk noticed he had a problem. Well, a few weeks into the flight, I was having difficulty uh, reading. My, my distant vision seemed to be fine. I could look out the window at Earth without any problems. But when I picked up procedures uh, or when I tried to focus a, a camera, I, I struggled a little bit. Now the journal Radiology confirms that astronauts have a high rate of eye problems, including excess fluid around the optic nerve, symptoms normally associated with increased pressure on the brain. Dr. Douglas Hamilton worked on the study. Hopefully we'll find a cause to this and come up with a countermeasure to prevent it. And perhaps those countermeasures will be just as effective to people suffering from this malady on Earth. This University of British Columbia astrophysicist who was inspired by space travel in the 60s says there has always been an element of danger. And that's part of what it means to be an astronaut. You are taking uh, some risk. Uh, so the, the thing is, is to try to characterize that as well as you can and uh, see, well, what are going to be the effects? How do we protect uh, these interplanetary explorers? And so scientists try to minimize the risks. In this Russian experiment, a crew spent 500 days in a capsule simulating the psychological effects of a round trip to Mars. And on the space station, Thirsk and his colleagues exercised vigorously to combat the muscle and bone-wasting effects of zero gravity. As for this latest study... It might be something that uh, will have a devastating effect on long-duration spaceflight or maybe nothing more than just getting new prescriptions for uh, astronauts' eyeglasses. It could be anywhere in that, that spectrum, and to rush off to a, a conclusion right now is, uh, is inappropriate. In the end, it may be up to the astronauts to decide whether the risk of vision problems may be worth the reward of walking on Mars. Ian Hannah Mansing, CBC News, Vancouver.